write down the heading differentiation between glucose and fructose differentiation between glucose and fructose okay so we know glucose are easily oxidized with mild oxidizing agent also it get oxidized by oxidizing agents like filling solution filling solution and tollens reagent and fructose since it contains carbonyl sorry ketone as a major functional group it is not oxidized by oxidized by mild oxidizing agent right but should not uh, should not you write down not, not should not why because fructose has ketone as major functional group and this has aldehyde as major functional group right this should be the you know the actual thing we have but actually what happens the fructose contains fructose which contains ketone functional group also gives positive tollens and filling solution test so write down the heading first fructose fructose shows positive tollens reagent and felling solution test now why it uh, does so that's the question for to understand this i'll go to the next page you copy it down okay done yes sir the reason behind this to understand this we need to understand this what is this what <laughs> is dobri d van brian ekstein rearrangement sir this said better <laughs> and in this rearrangement name. <laughs> the name is not important you can ignore that in this rearrangement what happens dobri you have glucose and uh, structure is this o h h h o h o h h and ch2oh this with basic medium dilute oh minus it converts into mannose mannose which is this and fructose oh. 
Sir, by any chance, is there a more condensed way of writing down these uh, formulae of the compounds? This. Better if you write. Manos. That's why this take a bit time. In structure only we need to draw a lot of time. Fructose. This is the reaction we get. Glucose and mannose. We know these these are C two E P-mers. Glucose and mannose are C two E P-mers. Copy down this first. Can you tell me the uh, mechanism of this? How this reaction is taking place? Anyone? How do we get fructose from glucose? Can you tell me the mechanism sir, of this? Sir, is it similar to something? Is it similar to like aldol condensation or something? No, it's not. Is there tautomerism involved? Yeah, it's tautomerism. It's tautomerism. Can you tell me how glucose converts into fructose through tautomerism? Sir, is it something like OH minus attacks the uh, C double bond O? Then you'll have um, C. Uh... No, 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 no. Just one simple thing. How do you draw tautomeric structure? Mechanism, though you know uh, that we already discussed. How do we draw a tautomeric structure? That is triad. So we just shift the double bond and remove the H and. In... Yes, yes, yes. See, actually, it is very simple here. You see. Uh, This one, uh, one so it extracts or H plus, right? Yeah, one, two, and three. This is what we have. So H plus comes out from here, and it goes onto this oxygen, and this double bond comes over here. Okay, so what we get? C O H double bond, and here what we get? CO minus. Okay. Yes, sir. So we get this actually. I'll write down the this part of it. The whole structure I won't draw. In basic medium, this gives you COH H double bond COH. Is it clear? This H plus comes out, and it takes this O minus. We'll get this. Again, in this one, we'll draw the tautomeric structure again. One, two, and three. So from this, from this, H plus again comes out, leaving this electron pair behind, and this will attach onto this carbon. Which converts into the top one will be CH two OH, and here the second carbon will get C double bond O, and that is how we get this. All other things will be same. Yes, sir. Correct. So this is because of tautomerism. This glucose, fructose, and mannose. This three molecule exist in equilibrium. In basic medium, OH minus, and that is why when you take fructose, okay, some part of it through tautomerism converts into glucose. If you take glucose, it converts into fructose and mannose, okay. And in the mixture, you started with glucose only or fructose only, right? But after some time in the mixture, we have mannose also, we have glucose also along with fructose, and that is why. Since mannose and glucose has aldehyde functional group, and that is why that particular mixture shows or gives positive Tollens test. Got it? So, so this is just keto in all tautomerism. Yeah, it is keto in all tautomerism. So right on this point, the reaction of Tollens reagent and failing solution. So the reaction the reaction of tollens reagent and failing solution and failing solution 
takes place in alkaline medium takes place in alkaline medium where fructose converts into mannose and glucose through tautomerism where fructose converts into mannose and glucose through tautomerism through tautomerism and hence the mixture gives the mixture gives positive tolens and felling solution test sir um, in the thing that you have given there you have shown that glucose becomes mannose and fructose ha ah, the point is both both happen the same way right yeah this is also happens the same way fructose also if you take this converts into the, all these that's what i wrote here all these three are in equilibrium yes sir that's how why it is okay that's why you see to differentiate glucose and fructose we need a medium we need a reagent whose medium is not alkaline you understood this point if alkaline medium is there then there will be tautomerism ketoenol tautomerism and it is difficult to differentiate both the molecule hence write down the next line to differentiate glucose and fructose to differentiate glucose and fructose we need an oxidizing agent whose medium is not alkaline whose medium is not alkaline and that is bromine water that we use in the first step to you know to understand the structure of glucose and that's why we use bromine water for this purpose sir in this uh, why doesn't tautomerism take place further like why doesn't the third carbon form double bond o what so why doesn't tautomerism take place further why can't the third carbon form a ketone in fructose why third second carbon is forming ketone no where is third carbon this second carbon this one yeah so so you're asking why it won't so form from third one won't form he's asking after further. that bro you're talking about further why it does not go yeah that is also possible if it goes also then also you'll get ketone correct yeah then also you'll get ketone but the point is see you can you can go after this also this h comes over here and you'll get double bond o here so you'll get double bond o here here but the point is here that this basic medium reaction this product will also have over there but that is not in major in amount it has very few otherwise the reaction goes on till here yes sir point is that we have this carbon and here also you see i have drawn this structure by two steps two tautomeric uh, structure i have written after this we'll get this this is one tautomeric compound and then we'll get this the another tautomeric compound first tautomers takes place between 1 2 and 3 here and then this this and this which is involved in tautomerism the first step we have here further also it's possible but the rate is very slow we won't get major product into that so we are not considering that right and the thing is we are getting this because the question is see i have written it other way the question is why fructose shows tollens test so for that this fructose if you go reverse you'll get glucose and mannose and that is why it shows if you go from here if you go this side then then also you'll get fruct you'll get ketone only as a major functional group that won't explain why fructose shows positive tollens test are you getting my point yes sir so i have explained this with with the help of glucose reverse if you go that explains the the you know the reason why fructose shows positive tollens test because then only it gives aldehyde as a major function so this entire thing is called lobry d van brine eikenstein rearrangement rearrangement yeah sir so, uh, in an alkaline medium in which form do they mostly exist in the hollow projection right what what srijan come again sir so, in in an alkaline or in any medium 
they mostly exist in their Howard projection, right? Yes, that also we can write. But that's Howard another reason why uh, it doesn't continue after fructose because it forms a four-member ring then, and that's not stable. Yeah, that also you can say. If you draw the Howard structure, obviously you'll get fourth member ring, not a stable. That's why further reaction does not take place this side. That is also right, Srinath. Correct. Okay. Now we'll start with uh, the reaction of glucose and fructose. Okay, we don't have time. Okay, I want to start this now because again, we have to draw the structure again and again. So we'll start this glu glucose and fructose reaction in the next class and we'll finish this chapter next class.